And that's the biggest thing too, is like, you know, I've, I've heard it from a lot of people, you know, you, you just hit 250, you know, you're, like, you're a great defender, it's fine. It's like, well, no, you know, 250 isn't good enough for me. You know, I want to be a 300 hitter. I know I could do it. I just need to change. I just need to change my approach. I just need to change my approach. I just need to change my approach. You know, for the most part, it really is an athletic movement that you have to just be calm and relaxed and confident in your plan right before you step in that box. And if you're not, you know, you're going to get eaten alive. It's not really about pitch selection. It's not really about pitch selection. It's not really about pitch selection. If you put your body in a good position, um, you know, consistently to see the baseball, you know, consistently to see the baseball, you know, consistently to see the baseball in the order to swing, you're going to make, you know, those those quick decisions. You're going to make, you know, those those quick decisions. You're going to make, you know, those those quick decisions athletically and subconsciously, athletically and subconsciously, athletically and subconsciously. Um, and then when you pair that with with a legitimate plan and understanding of what a guy's trying to do to you, you know, then it's off to the races. But it really wasn't about the physical or looking to answers. Everything that I need is, is right in the mirror and I'm, I'm just ready for the challenge ahead. That's a great answer, man. That's a great answer, man. I've always enjoyed listening to player interviews. Harrison Bader really got into some deep layers of hitting when he said, it's not really about pitch selection. He followed that by saying, putting your body in a good position consistently to see the baseball. It sounds pretty simple to do that, putting your body in position to see the baseball, but it's not. But when you put yourself in a position based upon your hitting model, your hitting tempo, your dominant eye, you're giving your brain an opportunity to quickly read information about the ball's speed and about the ball's space. Getting your body in a good position to consistently see the baseball is a real pattern it's a real technique your brain is always recording when you practice and you train let's make sure you're doing it right let's help our kids to be as good as they can be while they're still young i'm dave kiriloff may the lord jesus christ bless your life